So this will be the uh, the swag setup part of the video. So I have at the moment a crash pad uh, King single swag with the stretcher bed. I'm going to set that up as a whole setup because I think that's important as a comparison if you're going to go that way. Um, and I have the King's Big Day Deluxe. So I have a, my phone here and I'm going to do a stopwatch um, and then I'm going to set both of them up. So uh, we'll get straight into it. Um, I'll do the King's uh, Big Day Deluxe first. Um, so, all right, as we can see, it's at zero. So I'll flip these around so you can see the setup process. And we are officially, I don't know if I'll be able to get the phone in there. No, it won't work. All right, so we are starting now. All right, so that is time. It took me just on pretty much four minutes to set that one up. So this will actually be fast forwarded, like I won't make you sit there and watch the whole four minutes, but it took me about four minutes to set that swag up. So we'll reset the timer and I'll move that one out of the way real quick. So now I'm going to set up the crash pad swag with the stretcher bed and we'll see if there's much of a difference in setup time. So we're starting now.
All right, so that's done. That took me four minutes and 40 seconds. So it did take a little bit longer to set the crash pad up. Um, but um, yeah, it took a little bit longer to set the crash pad up. Again, I'll fast forward through it. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I'll do a little bit of a talk about each swag. It's um, merits and good parts and bad parts, I guess. So uh, yeah, I'll um, I'll try and put a timestamp in, or I'll or something like that. I'll film a little bit at the start, and I'll let you know like the setup part, and then also um, yeah. Anyway, uh, so first and foremost, I think it's most important to talk about the price. So I think I paid when Kings when King Swags first came out. I think I paid. Oh, geez, it wasn't much. It was like maybe $200, $220, something like that. This crash pad setup, I think, cost me nearly $600. So I think between the stretcher bed was like 100 and something, the swag was like 400 and something, and then postage or whatever. If you're not sure, just go to the website. They've got all the prices there anyway. Uh, same with Kings. So first of all, the reason why I switched from Kings to crash pad that swag is the king swag is huge like i only go camping by myself i don't have anyone you know to go with me um in the cold it doesn't warm up like you know you need a, a really good sleeping bag in that to stay warm like i never really had an issue with that but it, it felt almost like for me personally it was too much space the second part of it is like both of them have a 75 mil i believe uh mattress in them so they're both you know equally i guess as comfortable as one another i actually found as i've gotten older that the foam mattresses aren't quite enough for me anymore i was looking at going a full rooftop tent setup but problem is rooftop tents are thousands of dollars and they're on the car all the time it's more weight it's up higher the kind of areas I'm going, I didn't really need to be like that high off the ground, you know. I mean, if I was going in the Northern Territory or something where there's crocodiles and shit like that, then yeah, absolutely, I'd probably prefer a rooftop tent, just just for peace of mind, really. But the crash pad with the stretcher bed, um, some of the bonuses for this, for, for starters, is the quality of this swag, and I'll show you, it is so, so good. So if you have a look, all of these, they look really, really good. The only downside is this actual, uh, I guess you call it polar bar or whatever, it is a bit on the thin side, but they do sell replacements. So if you ever break one, or if you're scared of breaking one, um, you can always order them. I think they're like $30, they're not expensive. You can always order one and have it as a spare. Um, having the overlap here as well so you've got a big overlap where the zipper is it really keeps the water and that out um, this black swag gets very hot in the sun as you would imagine um, which is amazing in winter um, but in the summer you really got to open the swag up itself both swags you know i'm about six foot tall they fit me fine this one has plenty of room in it it's a king single so it's got plenty of room in it i can put a little fan or something in there if i want um the mesh and everything really good quality the actual um uh stretcher bed again really good quality you know you can just see that the canvas is like it's just again amazing quality um there's no like loose bits or anything like that this is probably one of the best things on this swag is that when you roll it up you've got these clips instead of the feed throughs like i do on the king swag that slowed me down a lot uh, wait till you see the pack up as well this packs up significantly quicker and easier than the king swag i'm actually curious to see by how much um when you move on to the king swag so like as you can see like these are all canvas as well like all the things with the tabs here they're all canvas you know and whatnot it's just the quality on this swag is fantastic like i have no complaints um obviously that's why they cost what they cost um i don't really have anything negative to say about the, the crash pad swag admittedly i've only spent a couple of nights in it but i tell you what between the stretcher bed and the actual foam mattress inside it is incredibly comfortable um it's the best night's sleep i've had out camping in forever really um yeah, I, I, I've got no no comparison. The King Swag, as so so 
these are like um they're not canvas they're like a, a polymer or something i don't know but um you know you can tell they're not quite as good quality they've got a thicker bar here which is really good um but yeah and, and the canvas itself it's not bad quality canvas at all it doesn't get too hot in here so it's not too bad at all but there are little bits of you know fraying and stuff around on it it's the fit and finish is qu not quite as good you know the overlaps not quite as much it feels like it's a little bit thinner of a canvas compared to the crash pad swag um the mesh and everything is perfectly fine this this swag i've had for about three or four years and camped in it quite a lot it's a great little swag or big swag i should say and where the where, where the overall um i guess differences come in here is it's like most of all it's just the price so if you're only just getting into camping my honest belief is that you're better off going with the king's swag for two reasons the first of which is um being a bigger swag if you have a partner obviously you can fit both in there the king swag uh sorry the um the crash pad swag you can't fit two people in there you could probably fit a person and a child in there um if you wanted to but it'll be a bit of a tight squeeze uh so the king's the king swag is really good for that it's got a lot more room in it you can fit two people in it you can even fit a bag in it with with two people i mean it'll be let's start to get a bit on the cramp side there if you did but it's good for that um obviously being the green canvas it's not going to heat up as much during the summer um but again you just open it up it's not a problem um look as a as a first time camper this is the way to go like the kings is the way to go in my opinion because if you don't know if you're going to like camping or not the last thing you want to do is go and spend you know like five six hundred dollars on a swag and then decide you don't like it you know um so it's it's a good entry level swag for someone who wants to get out ex and see what it's like before you sort of really fully commit to it the other bonus is like i'm actually going to keep this swag like this king's one even though i've got the crash pad i'm always going to go out with my crash pad swag when i'm on my own but like if i ever end up having my own kids or if i end up you know with a partner or something like that and the two of us are going to go out together i've got the king's swag there already um i might buy like crash pad do offer a double swag but they don't offer double uh, stretches as of this video, as far as I'm aware. I believe a few people have inquired about it and they are on the way. So um, obviously keep keep an eye out for that. But like the Kingsway, it's heavy, takes up a lot of space um, in the car and everything like that. So like size is, you know, definitely something that, that, that played in the mind here. Um, the crash pad is significantly easier to set up, easier on your back and everything, because obviously you're setting the swag up on the stretcher bed. The only thing is, this stretcher, I'll see if I can get it to it, it does wobble a little. So, what you would normally do, which really takes the wobble out of it, is you'd actually put the, uh, the pegs in the ground and you tie them down, and that holds it in place a lot better. So, that's the main thing. As of for the insides, I'll unzip this one, the, the crash pad. I'm sure most people, you know, you can imagine, they're both going to look pretty similar on the inside. Just got to find the zips. So the zips are here. So, hang on a second. So the inside of this swag, you know, it's already, I can already feel the heat in that swag. But, the inside's really good as well like come on so plenty of room for a single person you know you got a few pockets and stuff i think they're at the other end of the swag there but you got a few pockets and stuff it's very like you know the mattress is very very good and cushy but the main thing is is like yeah i weigh like 100 kilo yeah this holds my weight perfectly fine and i tell you what like it has for me personally revolutionized camping because I, i'd done a lot of camping i got to the point where i'll be honest i was starting to get a little bit over it and my mate actually put me onto this and i because he, he bought one and uh, i had a sit in it and a lay in it i just went oh like <laughs> it really changed my mind i was like all right cool like i'm gonna get one of those and now you know i look forward to camping and i look forward to going to bed a lot of the time i'd stay up real late and i'd just be like oh i don't really want to go to sleep because i wouldn't get much sleep now the only downside is in the sun it heats up really quickly 
but then you just set it up under like a nice shaded tree or you set it up under like the awning like i've got up up, up there which obviously because i'm just doing a video i'm not gonna i'm not gonna set up my awning it takes too bloody long and it's hard it's really hard as a, with a single person i might do a video on that at some point and show you the tricks of setting it up on your own um i don't think there's much else to really film for you know at least for the swags um from a review standpoint would i recommend them i'd recommend them both they're both amazing swags the crash pad with the stretcher bed i can't honestly i've only slept in it a couple of nights but i cannot honestly recommend it highly enough it is absolutely a fantastic piece of kit incredibly good quality you know it's pretty easy to set up but i know what a lot of you want to see and that is the pack up video um because everyone shows them getting set up no one shows them getting packed down no one likes pack up the easier it is the better it is so i'll put you down um and we will or i will i should say i'll just gotta zip up some some of the swag and get it ready to pack up we'll do a time of it again so we can see what yeah you know, how long it actually takes so when you're zipping up the swag make sure that you always leave um a little bit of a a little bit of gap for the air to come out all right so this is now essentially ready for pack up so i'll get the timer ready again uh give us one second I'm just gotta set the phone up um all right so it's at zero all right and go So, five minutes and 45 seconds to uh, pack that one up. Um, the only thing I ran into there was I actually, I pulled the uh, the clip for the stretch bed all the way through, so I had to refeed it through. So I probably lost about 10 or 20 seconds there. So uh, look, ideally probably like five and a half minutes to, to pack that up. Um, significantly easier on my back though um, because I'm not bending over as much this one is going to be a pain to set up I'm oh, sorry to pack up I'm really not actually looking forward to it um, it's part of the reason I went the crash pad is because that even though I had a little bit of a faux pas is so much easier to pack up um, yeah it's night and day you'll see what I mean um, the canvas bag that they give you with that swag it just fits everything so easy there's plenty of room there like you could probably even leave some bedding in the swag and fit it no problems um i figured i'd wait until this part of the video to sort of mention that but uh also the the canvas bag they supply you is really good uh, quality as opposed to the king's bag which um you can get the canvas king's bags which are better but all the same 
All right, so we'll get into the one that I don't really like. You'll see how much more effort it actually takes me to pack this one up and well, not because you have to roll it significantly tighter to fit it in the standard King's bag that I have. Uh, so, you know, it's been reset and we are going to start now. Unfortunately, the GoPro actually turned itself off mid pack up, but we're going to keep going with it. Um, so we were up to three minutes when it turned itself off, and I was three quarters of the way through rolling it up. So we're actually going to—it's going to—it's going to add give or take. I would say a minute, thirty seconds to a minute. So uh, just keep that in mind with this next bit. Um, we'll uh, go again and we'll see. Hopefully the uh, camera stays on now. Um, I think it just got too hot or it uh, um, unfortunately ran out of battery or something. But I'll swap the batteries over now, so we'll give it another go. Unfortunately, like I forgot to, to actually charge my batteries before I came in. So anyway, enough of it. Let's get, let's get into it. So I'll set these back up here. All right, we are resuming now. As you can see, unfortunately, I might not have, might not have actually got this. Oh, no, never mind. We might get it in after all. But it is significantly tighter than the uh, than the crash pad. Now the reason I'm sitting on it is I've got to actually got to actually crush it down to get the zips to close because it's just so so tight. We haven't even put in haven't even put in these yet, you know. So put those in now. Keep going. So, haul up, it was about seven minutes, but given the fact that the camera died, I would say, let's, give, let's be generous, 
let's give it a 30 second you know sort of delay or whatever and say that it was about six and a half minutes so the crash pad you can also probably tell i'm a lot more out of breath because the king's swag requires me to really put my body weight on it to get it to roll up and when you first buy that swag it's even harder so because i've had that swag for quite a while it's actually gotten easier and easier as i've owned it so the more you use it the better it will be the crash pad is pretty much brand new i've only used it a couple of times and you saw how easy it is to set that up to pack it up and like i'm not out of breath like i am now so it's up to you what you want to do but in closing for this video the king swag brilliant for a first swag for anyone who wants to get into it or for couples or anything like that if you want something a little bit more luxurious a little bit more comfortable a little bit easier to, oh sorry a lot easier to set up and pack down crash pad is your way to go both swags will do the job you'll be comfortable enough you'll be warm if you add the stretcher bed to the crash pad you'll be really comfortable and you'll get a great night's sleep um i think it's basically as good as you're going to get until you go into a rooftop tent and even then realistically i actually think the stretcher bed's probably going to be better than a rooftop tent um just purely because a rooftop tent might have a 75 100 mil mattress in it but having the stretcher bed lift you off the ground and be able to take some of your weight as well it has a little bit more give on it it's a little bit softer so if you like something that's a little bit softer you know it's definitely the go and it gets you up off the ground you know you're not cl trying to climb up off the ground to to get um get out of get out of your swag or in and out of your swag all right um hope this has been helpful if you have any questions uh, any, about anything that i haven't covered obviously you know put them in the comments i'll try and um obviously i'll try and uh get to them and, and reply where i can if you want to know more about e either of the swags you want like a more in-depth review again let me know i'm happy to take the crash pad all the kings out and uh set them up all over again and you know individually and do a more in-depth review of each swag i feel like i covered the main things that need to be covered um so you know outside of that um yeah have a good day enjoy the nice uh sun and whatnot while we can looks like we might be in for more bad weather in the future but i mean then again you never know all right that'll be it for this one uh catch you in the next one obviously uh like and subscribe if you uh you know you want to see more content from me again my my upload schedule is very very sporadic it just depends when i have availability to film all right thanks guys take it easy